Hey everybody, what's going on? DJ Fire here. It's been a little bit and uh, we have gotten some new subscribers. So if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out here. Um, we are doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway. Once we hit a 1000 subscribers, you guys are going to be able to win some awesome cool lights. Uh, we're giving three gift or three prizes, we're giving a DJ Fire t-shirt, uh, a light goes to the first prize winner, and then we're going to be giving a gift card away, either to Starbucks or Walmart. Uh, that'll be of the winner's choice. table so we've got new up lighting these are four uh, six LED by 18 watt six by 18s uh, these are from sheds if you want to see the video on these go check out the Nathan 343 I just done a video on them recently uh, so if you want to go see the unboxing and all the information on those and they are in <clears throat> basically master slave that's the master with the red light these are all enslaved, so they're doing all the exact same things. I really, really think they do some cool stuff. <clears throat> and then, uh, of course, we've seen the table. But what I really want to show you is this. This is our new lighting truss for bar gigs. Uh, it bolts on to the um, bolts on to the uh, table here and or clamps not bolts and then it goes 10 feet high it said on the description it had two five foot sections uh for i-beam <clears throat> that's a lie <laughs> it's only got like three feet six inches three feet seven inches on each side so you're less than 36 you're like seven feet maybe a little over seven feet across uh so yeah and then of course, uh, O-clamps, you cannot get, it's like inch and a quarter pipe. Uh, one inch O-clamp will not work and neither will a two inch clamp or a inch and a half. <clears throat> I have inch and a half ones over on this, just, they're just sitting there and it is loose. They're not tight at all, but the light's not moving that fast. I have it on a slow show, so it is kind of, uh, just kind of, uh, what do you call it? Hanging there, uh, as you can see here. So it's, uh, I just sway it, but I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna try to maybe customize my <clears throat> O-clamps, see if I can make them. Like I said, I've got the inserts for the uh, O-clamps and I have it, uh, I'll have to see if I can shave them down or, or something, but they're not gonna work for so far, but I had to bolt everything on here. So, I got a bolt here and a bolt here. Of course, all the holes go up and down. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why they think you're gonna bolt stuff up and down all the time. Uh, so, we got a bolt that came with it, a nut, and then a wing nut. So basically between the nut and the wing nut's where the bracket for the stinger goes. This one here, way, this one has a nut, and a wing nut, and a bolt. And we're actually gonna be trying to uh, beef this bracket up a little bit here to where it doesn't shake so much. This one here doesn't do too bad. Uh, I'm sure it would probably hold itself up there like that if I ran both of them. But yeah, and then of course I've got my power strip, my uh, power bar link. It's got one up here and it is ran off of a bolt, a washer, a little washer, and then a whizzy nut. And then it's up there, it ain't moving. So I just used the, the, the bolts for the same thread. So literally just threaded them on there. So when I get done, I plug everything and then I just twist it until it comes off and then up she comes. And then the powering, the cabling's a lot cleaner. I literally have everything plugged into this and then I have one power con. Uh, this is a 25 footer, it comes down, runs down to the end. Excuse my dirty floor, but runs into the power supply, so. A uh, lot cleaner, of course I don't have everything quite tidied up like I would if I was going to do a show, but I've got the white scrim on, got the lighting under here, looks really, really good. So, yeah. 
Still haven't got a TV. Still, if you guys got a good good choice for TV, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but uh, I want to go 55 inch. <clears throat> so, which will just be a little bit inside of that. I don't want to go completely all that big. So 55 gives me a little, you know, play to play up and down or where I want to center it. So let me know what uh, you guys got for thoughts on the uh, TV brand. Uh, basically is what I'm looking for. I was looking at Samsung, but I heard that maybe their lighting isn't the greatest. LG I was looking at. Uh, we've got a Hisense up here. This is a 65 inch. Uh, it's got some good lighting, but I want something that's going to be, you know, really good for uh, doing some uh, stuff for weddings and stuff on the front, doing like uh, uh, pictures and like uh, monograms and cool little stuff on the front. Yep, quick little video guys. Just wanted to show off the new iTrust. This is from ProX. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to be two five foot sections. Says it on the um, description on their website, even shows it on the eBay page. So they've got something wrong, unless they've got two different versions, but only versions I see are, are these. But that's my little setup for a bar. Two stingers, two movers uh, for now. I don't think I'd want to put any more on there. That's plenty. Anyway, and then another thing, when I'm standing here, it don't hit my head. It's all up there. So, doesn't bother me. Um, it, it definitely makes me <clears throat> where I have less room. I don't have those T-bars. I could take my subs, put, uh, put them on my speakers on sub poles and put them right next to me on each side. Uh, it just lessens my footprint that I have because some bars don't have a whole lot of room, especially lefties. Uh, this will look really good at the Legion Legion too. Very nice little uh, setup. And I'm, I'm working on my cabling, guys. I'm working on it. So bear with me. Cabling is going to get that much better. Uh, we're we're going to do a lot better this year. I know you guys told me work on your cable management. We've got Velcro strips uh, ordered. For some reason, they're taking forever to get here. Uh, the oak clamps took a week to get here. That's set on their shipping today. Uh, FedEx was being extremely slow. It got uh, it departed Indiana and then returned to Indiana and then departed again. So I don't know if I got put on the wrong truck or, or, or what happened. But. So anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Get us to a 1,000 subscribers and win some cool stuff. <laughs>